I feel great. I feel really good, actually. Um, coming back, uh, my body is just um, the way our strength staff has done everything. Um, my body was able to recoup fast, faster than they expected. So um, I've been doing good. I've been rehabbing, recovering. I'm getting back to full speed, full strength, uh, getting in the weight room, get back to jogging. It's been uh, good. Um, recalling everything, and I remember everything um, that happened and uh, the part the Probably the, the point that I don't remember is um, when I um, blacked out and went into my um, state that I was in where they pulled me out of the water. So basically, um, Ty and I were out in the water and uh, like, kind of like I was saying, we started getting beat up a little bit and uh, we were like, all right, we got to get out of here and the waves started getting big. So uh, we went out back to shore. We realized we didn't know where they were. Um, you know, the waves were choppy, so you couldn't really see. It's not like they were so far out we couldn't see them. The waves were just so choppy that you couldn't see heads necessarily. And um, so, yeah, that's when we decided to go back in uh, looking for them, and that's when we ran into them. Anything to add? Yeah. Um, we, we actually we went back onto the shore, and immediately it was like, where's Isaac and Mitch? Um, Nick actually jumped up on the lifeguard tower because, like he said, the waves were choppy. It kind of picked up really <coughs> fast when we decided to go in. And he kind of sent me back out into the water, like with his hands. He's like pointing me to where they were. So he sent me back out into the water, and he, he directed me to where they were. And then once we got to where they were, Mitch was holding Isaac up in the water about waist deep high. And I mean, like when I say I was out in the water, I was running in the water. Like we were in water that was this high, and Mitch was holding him. And uh, Nick and I went out into the water and picked him, from up, picked him up from Mitch. Mitch is a smaller guy. Um, picked him up from Mitch and we brought him back onto the shore. And then um, right, at, right as that happened, I told, I told Nick, I just said, Nick, go get an ambulance. I said, run. And Nick, being a uh, track star, it worked out pretty well. So he went and got uh, the ambulance. And then um, Mitch and I laid Isaac down and I gave Isaac mouth to mouth while Mitch did the uh, two by whatever chest press. Well, actually, Mitch is taking a class with training, and he learned CPR um, at IU, and then I'm taking an aquatics management class here, and it talks about CPR. And how did that help you? Um, I would say it, it actually did help me. I mean, it, the, more I, the more I knew, the more I knew not about CPR, but more just to be calm in the situation, because like my initial reaction was, what's going on? Um, but the best thing I think that I did and we did was be calm throughout the whole situation. What, I, what I'll say is that alcohol did not have a factor in the situation at all. I would say that as well. Alcohol had nothing to do with what happened. I'm ready to get back whenever I can. I'm not going to push it. Um, I'm, I'm letting the doctors and the trainers and our strength staff and our coaches um, make that determination on when I can get back and when I'm ready to go full speed. Um, but basically, what I've been told is if I'm good enough, they'll monitor me uh, in the summer and what I can do there and um, basically be healthy, back to full health by fall camp. Um, it really hit me because um, I won't ever take like anything like that for granted again. Um, you know, when people come out here and you know, practice is bad, and oh, they always say this sucks. Well, you know, it doesn't suck because I almost had something taken away from me that I love, and I don't want to be put in that situation ever again. Um, these guys are my brothers. You know, um, I love them to death, and I always say, um. There's three warriors that you can take into battle. And I'll choose those three kids every time. No matter who I get to choose, I choose Ty, Nick, and Mitch. Doesn't matter where I'm going, what I'm doing, I'll choose those kids every time.